Hey guys and welcome back, it's Pope John Paul and we are with another Rome 2 battle. Uh, this time I am joined by Nemesis um, when I'm playing this game. go. I will put a link to his channel in the description. He's uh, just getting into Total War. He's, uh, very, well not new to YouTube, but he's new to Total War. So I am decided I'd do a battle with him. And uh, today we are playing... A 2v2 as I said and uh, he's playing as Macedon and I am playing as uh, Carthage or against the Bactrians and the Seleucids so the uh, so, so the Carthaginians really have just like kind of wandered in on a Diadoshi sort of war that's gone on and yeah we'll see what happens so we'll quickly have a look at the armies um, so Nemesis he's bringing um, three Thessalian cavalry He's bringing lots of hoplites, a lot of hoplites, um, bringing pikes and foot companions. They'll be very useful in the later stages of the game. These elite, these elite pikes. And then what's he got here? He's got shield bearers, thorax swordsmen, um, thorax swordsmen, hot, more hoplites and shield bearers. So he's got very good versatile infantry. Oh, he's got even more. Oh, he's got royal pel peltast as well. So he's got very versatile infantry. And these peltasts will also kind of be used as uh, missile infantry themselves. He's got mercenary Cretan archers, three of them. Um, so they'll be all, they'll be very handy in missile uh, conflicts, and they will probably rack up a lot of kills. Those real peltasts you see there with uh, javis. Quickly have a look at my force while it moves off. I brought one Baleric slinger, three Cretan archers myself, um, mercenary noble fighters. Carthage in hot plights. Um, what else have we got? Lots of Libyan infantry, making up the main line of infantry. As most Carthaginian armies have these guys as their main infantry. Then more mercenary noble fighters. I've got African pikemen in the back. Then I brought a lot of cav. Well, not a lot, but a fair amount of cav. I brought mercenary companion cavalry. These guys look very, very nice. Very, very elite cavalry. And then we've got noble cavalry on this flank. Also looking very, very good. Got the same sort of horse headdress as the companion cavalry. Well, have a quick look at Seleucids. So I've, these guys have got bringing like a lot of Thoros spears, um, Thorax, um, not pikemen, swordsmen. They're on the march. He's bringing a lot of um, armored uh, Syrian archers. And these guys can bring uh, Seleucids can bring a lot of these guys. They look exactly the same as the Roman ones, but. Um, they can bring a lot more of them to the end, and he's got, there's his uh, Thorax Swords. He's got Royal Peltast himself in the back here. He's bringing, um, what are these? These are Median Cavalry. They're like medium cavalry. They look a lot heavier than the medium, but apparently so. And then he's got, as a general, an elephant. Big armoured Indian elephant. Anything else to add? I don't think so. Oh, and he's bringing some pikemen in the middle. So he's got some pikes in the middle just to keep that strong, firm center. And then Bactria. He's bringing a lot of elephants. He's bringing two sets of Indian War elephants. He's bringing Bactrian Royal Cavalry. A lot of cavalry. He's got very good, powerful cavalry. Hellenic Cataphracts. Um, I think that's more Hellenic Cataphracts here. Yeah, huge cavalry and an elephant... Um, build up on this side. So uh, Nemesis got a, his work cut out really on this side um, with his Thessalian cavalry. Gonna have to fight against outnumbered tr amounts. Look at all that. Imagine seeing all those elephants over there as the cavalrymen. And you're just like, oh god, I've got to fight these guys. Um, anyway, carrying on with uh, Bactria's uh, army. We've got some Eastern Spearmen in the front, probably to suck up fire, um, waste am maze the arches, waste ammunition on them. Eastern Javis, not really a very strong choice of missile unit, but um, I guess the Bactria player's got a, an idea up his sleeve. So he's not really got the range on, say, like our Cretan archers or the uh, armoured Syrian archers here. Oh, Syrian heavy archers, there you go. And he's got a lot of pikes, it would seem. Bring a lot of pikemen and then bring in Bactrian Royal Guard. So he's not got any swords, nothing really quick and. Um, very effective in melee. These guys want to keep people at bay. As for the hoplites, almost really. So yeah. So I mean, that's as how it starts. There's now some cavalry movement going on on this side. 
Not much in oh, not much in the way of um, action. Just a lot of maneuvers, and I decided to bring my cavalry over to uh, scare off them to also outnumber the uh, Bactrian cavalry because he also put some elephants here. But if he sends his, car his uh, elephants in that far away from his infantry, he will probably lose them very quickly. Elephants are a very good unit, and people in uh, Rome 2, if you're new to Rome 2, or even if you played it a thousand hours, people still use elephants like they're just tanks, and they can go in and take a lot of stuff out. They'll take maybe a unit out, if that, and then they will get scared and focus down by archers or infantry, and they'll die quite quickly. They need to be used as um, support for infantry and even cavalry. They'll be very good with uh, working with cavalry. But now the clash of lines is about to start. It seems I am not happy with like how many archers the sluices are bringing. So I was like, right, that's it. We're going to have to move forward. We're going to have to uh, send the infantry in because I'm going to lose this skirmish fight instantly. The Cretan archers are just outnumbered compared to all these heavy archers here. So I was like, right, we'll send the infantry in. I'm bringing my cavalry back ground to support my other cavalry. So we outnumber them heavily. Nemesis is holding off for a while as Bactria doesn't seem to be doing much. He also seems to be looking very much like he's going to two-team me. And that's when I give him the call to move forward just so it brings Bactria's focus back onto him. Because otherwise, I could be in for a very interesting fight. So here we go. The Clash of Lines is about to happen. Here we go. All these missiles. Oh, gosh. All those missiles. Ridiculous. Hardly anyone died, it seemed. Here we go. Oof. Clash. And now the the grinding begins. Between lines. Look at that. It's just... There's a load of men in the back cheering, going, Yeah, you can do it. I don't actually want to fight, so can you please kill everyone? I'm uh, deciding to hold off here, which is um, with the pikes. Um, but then I made a mistake that I forgot I had pikes myself. That could have dealt with these pikes. So these pikes started to get focused down really, really bad. Yeah, I was, this swords unit here, I was like, I am not sending them in to die to those pikes. But um, I forgot entirely that I brought pikes myself. So this unit here especially is getting focused down a lot. And here we go. They're going in just now. And they're getting absolutely shredded by all those archers. Look at all these archers. Lines and lines of archers. So I'm like, well, if you're going to focus down my pikes, you're getting your pikes focused down. So my archers... Start to fire at his. And look at that, just even before they get to the lines, they break. There we go, thank god. I was worried for a moment I wasn't going to get my pikes out. So anyway, yes, now we start to stab, stab away. It's the pokey pokey match. Who's got the longer spear? We'll find out at the end of the battle, I guess. Who's got the longer and better spear. But I also send in my swords, it seems, interestingly enough. And they actually do seem to press in quite well and get, like beyond the reach of the pikes and are now actually going to do some damage and pikemen are having to put down their swords and uh, oh I picked down their put down their spears and pick up swords and that guy got beheaded god poor him it looks like a desperate desperate fight look at that guy he's like oh many mistakes were made and the pikes are falling back just like that we have broken the pikemen there's now a huge gap which we can go through here but these pikes are already Looking a bit weary and a bit broken themselves. There's uh, now a huge gap in the middle which I need to take advantage of. Um, Nemesis sends some Thorax swords over to help bulk my lines because he sees them struggling. Um, and now the lines over here have started to clash slightly between Bactria and uh, Macedon. I, I had a hot pipe unit here which was supposed to be defending the flank. It kind of got caught out by the Bactrians and got pinned down by them while the... Uh, Seleucus just focused down on it. You can see all the dead here for them. All their dead. This is mostly, yeah, all the Carthaginians. There's a few back Bactrians down there as well, but not many. So anyway, we're, we're struggling on. I'm uh, finding it quite hard to beat back these Seleucids. As you can see, I'm losing now here on the flank. Um, but I am now beating his cavalry very, very well. Well, beating his cavalry. His cavalry's gone. Sorry we missed that charge. But now I'm, um, I've got his thorough spear unit out here, which is... Losing, but I'm not really happy with having cavalry employing melee with spears. It's just never going to end well, and 
I'm going to take a lot of casualties from it. So I think I'm going to pull out. Yep, there we go. I pull out now. And we're about to... Uh, we're about to find another target. And look at all those archers. That's a perfect target. Now that this unit here is pinned down, we can go for that. I mean, it's very close to the um, general, but will he commit his general um, this early in the battle? Especially with it being an elephant unit as well. It's very, very dangerous to commit that early on. Anyway, so now the Bactrians are very much fully committed. The, there's Javis now fighting in here as well with pikemen. And the pikemen haven't got their pikes down. I've just realised and I wondered why um, he yeah, had so much success the Nemesis here because the pikemen haven't got their pikes down so it's just easy, easy for um, his pikemen just to mince them. So he's lucky there but look I was telling him to keep focused on these elephants, keep um, fire arrow, giving them fire arrows and look at this, look at that, out of control and they're about to charge into these guys and god the chaos. And that's a lot, that's friendly trampling, because a lot of them are dead. That doesn't usually happen if they're not out of control. If they're out of control, they'll do damage to their own team. And look at all those dead. That's two units destroyed of Eastern Spearmen. They're already partly destroyed, but oh, they're not even finished, the elephants. Like, nope, we're back for seconds. We're coming again. And now they're in with the Eastern Javelin men. Oh, poor guys. They're like, we're barely... We barely protected ourselves with all these silken clothes, and now you throw elephants at us? Our own elephants? How dare you? But anyway, yes, now my uh, cavalry, we've missed it, had an epic charge with the uh, armoured elephants here. And it is... I'm not, I'm not doing well, put it like that. I've broken these Thoros spears, but my uh, cavalry, my, and my generals as well, is very battered up. But it's worth it. My infantry's all gone. Almost all gone. I have one mercenary noble fighter left, and that is it for my infantry. I was not having a good battle. Um, and Nemesis luckily uh, picks up the pieces for me and carries on the fighting. So we're surrounding this unit here of um, Thorax swords, and we're just absolutely, look at this, engulfing them. And now, uh, oh gosh, he's got the Salian cavalry now. He's bringing it brought over to this side to help fight the uh, Indian armored elephants, and yeah, it's still not looking good even for these guys, to be honest. So I'll quickly have another look at this side of the battle. We've now got, um, I think this is the cavalry, this is the general unit here. He's getting focused down by uh, missiles and there's a charge coming in of my remaining infantry. We're like, right, we're taking out this general. If we end the back train general now, we then make those elephants less dangerous because they have no general. So we now got him in, trapped in combat, and I presume he is, uh, he's not even pulling out. I was going to, I was about to say, I presume he'll pull out of that, but no, he's not. Um, the pikes here, not doing so well still. Still not put down their pikes by the looks of it. And um, the owls are being surrounded by other elephants. Oh, God. So many elephants in this battlefield. It is a battlefield of elephants. And pikes. A lot of pikes and elephants, but, um... So we've got a unit of pikes here, ready um, to meet what looks like another elephant charge. Look at that in the distance, so they can see. Oh god, they're coming forward, boys. Ready. Your, tra your training has been all about this. You can do it. Oh, and they're getting, they're getting focused down with archers though, but it's not going to stop them. Those elephants will take a lot of firepower. So I'll come back to that quickly when they get a bit close, nearer. Because they're, they're walking quite so. Oh, here we go. Here we go. In they come. Oh god. <laughs> oh, I would not want to be a Macedonian right now. Oh gosh, these guys are going to get ripped to shreds. Absolute carnage. Look at this unit. This was a fairly healthy unit. And look, it's already destroyed. And now he's sending in Peltas to help sort hold them back. So I said, just overwhelm these elephants with infantry and they'll die. They'll, they can't defend every single stab they get. So, and look at that, they're already dying to pikes and to peltas. And now they're charging into more foot companions. That one's dead. Yep, these guys are doing well. They're killing them off quite quickly, actually. But um, this side, it was almost gone. All the saluted infantry that got caught out over here is all but gone. Uh, my pikes, uh, not my pikes, my noble cavalry and my uh, mercenary noble fighters destroyed the Bactrian general. And now it is basically down to these elephants, but they're breaking just as I speak. It's down to the Bactrian Royal Guard to win it. Can they do it? I'm not sure. 
It's going to be close. I mean, it's not really. I think it is going to be a victory for Macedon and Carthage. But it's they, they could hold for a while, Kabakshan Royal Nova uh, Infantry, if they stand. But they are already running away. Can you guys stop, like, running away when I'm just about to talk about how good you are? But anyway, guys, that was the battle. It was a costly victory. It certainly was some for a Carthage. Macedon seemed to come off a lot better off than that than I did. But anyway, yes. So, uh, we'll quickly have a look at the uh, scores. And uh, Noble Cavalry doing fairly well for me. And Companion Cavalry... Uh, Cavalry did okay. It was kind of caught up in elephants and... Uh, spears most of the battle so it was not that great my pikes look at that zero kills for that one that poor one that got shredded before it even got to the lines my infantry generally did not do great apart from my mercenary noble fighters they are definitely worth their money when you bring them to the battlefield even this one got entirely destroyed 163 kills i can't complain the bail eric sling is actually doing very very well for me i'm quite surprised um hot plates for carthage I didn't really use them very well. I didn't really do them justice. So, I can see why they did poorly. There's certainly this one. I think this is the one that got outflanked and surrounded pretty quickly. Um, anyway, we'll quickly have a look at Macedo uh, Nem's Macedon army. Um, he got... Uh, his general did okay, but I'm pretty sure he's protecting, which is good. His foot companions, look at that. 215 kills. Excellent. Uh, 101 there for those hot plights. Most of the thorax, thorax swords doing fairly well. Most of his pikes doing very, very well. Even though they sucked up a lot of the charge power of those elephants. Um, hot plates doing averagely okay. Um, Royal Palatas doing well. His archers could have done better. But yeah, so he did fairly well. Um, so we've got Vandim Boyar. Um, he did okay. His elephants certainly did very, very well. They destroyed a lot of my cavalry. His archers did excellent. They certainly were worth uh, bringing to the battlefield. They shredded a lot of troops. Soros spears did surprisingly quite well. Um, Thorax swords did okay. He did some of the units, but then there's this one here that got like five. His pikes could have possibly done better, but I was lucky in getting my uh, Thorax swords very... Well, not Thorax swords. Um, Libyan infantry in nice and close to them and they broke quite quickly. His Royal Peltas did excellent though. They're certainly a unit I need to try out more in um, Rome 2 because they seem to do very very well. And then we'll quickly have a look at Bactria. Elephants could have done better. They could have potentially got like 200 plus kills if he'd used them a bit better and kept them out of archer range because they were constantly getting bombarded by fire arrows. Um, cavalry not doing great. They kind of got caught out. Um, and Ethan Spearman, look at that, zero kills. It's just a, seemed like a waste of money. Might have been better just to bring and put the money together and bring a better unit. Back to Royal Guard, doing okay. This one did okay. This one got annihilated. And his javelins, yeah, he could have possibly bought a better skirmish unit. Pikes, unfortunately, he didn't put his pikes down, so they kind of got absolutely shredded. But it's a learning curve for all the, for every player. So I'd just like to say thank you for uh, Nem for joining me. I know he. He's not here in the uh, video, but we'll be doing more together, more battles together, I'm sure. Um, if you enjoyed, guys, please like and subscribe. And until next time, bye for now.